this vest is like slaying my life right now. You ever put something on and instantly you're like, this just like snatched my brows and knocked my weave off. Hey Valentine, Spanky Valentine here. How are you guys doing? It's fall fashion, guys. If you're anything like me, you're kind of like freaking out a little bit because I freaking love fall fashion. Before I jump in, a lot of you guys have been letting me know on Instagram and Snapchat that you're no longer being notified when I upload new videos, which then makes sense as to why the past few videos have been uploaded. No one's seen them because no one knows they exist. I know a lot of people's settings on YouTube had been reset without them knowing. So all you gotta do is open a new window, go to my main channel page, and underneath my banner art on the right hand side next to the subscribed button, which hopefully you've clicked, um, just click the little settings wheel and it will say send me all notifications notifications for this channel. Just make sure that box is checked, hit save, and hopefully you will now be notified once again that I've uploaded a new video for you guys, because I do these videos for you, and if you never know that they're there, then... <sighs> I'm gonna show you some fall fashion trends, particularly in the realm of your bootsies. I'm gonna move quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna move quickly because I wanna show you a lot, so hold on to your false lashes, kids. It's gonna get crazy here. Well, okay then. All right, let's start with some simple basics, and that is a nice stacked heel. If you were only going to invest in one type of boot, I think this is the most versatile option to consider. The thicker the heel, the more comfortable, the more sturdy, the longer you're probably going to be able to wear them. Generally, they come as ankle boots, and if you get it in a neutral color, you can literally wear a stacked heel with jeans, with leggings, with a skirt, a dress, with trousers at work, at school, running errands. This is really an all-around boot. Another great boot is a riding boot. It's basically just a flat boot meant for all day wear and any kind of weather that you can throw at it. These generally come in calf to knee high and they also go over the knee so the height is completely up to you. Because these are equestrian inspired, if you don't want to convey that look, then just dress these down. A pair of jeans, maybe a white tee is a great option. The fall boot trend are lace-ups. Now these are a little more like wow factor lace-ups but it could literally be minimalist black, just ankle booties. I love camel color in the fall, that's why I chose these. And because this is such a standout piece, I went with a more minimalistic outfit so that we're not overwhelming the eye with your overall look. How about something on the western side and my favorite, fringe. Western boots are generally just brown and tan in color and often in suede. If you don't want to imply cowboy with this look, maybe incorporate some other textures like furs or lace work really well, or keep it very edgy street with some leathers. Okay, over the knee boots are basically my obsession. Like I live my life in over the knee boots. I perform on stage in them. I just love them so much. But I do think people either associate them with like oversexed ladies of the evening or badass dominatrix chicks. It just comes down to how you wear them. Look for chic details like this hybrid quilt and vegan leather. For colder seasons, if you're gonna wear a dress, go for those with longer hemlines that show just a sliver of skin. With a totally thigh-high option, you can pair it with some leggings or some dark nylons. It will help streamline the look of your leg. I also love pairing over-the-knee boots with capes and tweeds and natural organic fabrics that will help balance out the toughness of it with something a little more soft and sophisticated. And if you're not sure about making the leap into a over the knee boot, then go with neutral tones, like this beautiful taupe or gray tones, which takes you away from any chance of feeling dominatrixy and makes it a much more blended, elegant look. I'm kind of seriously obsessed with these boots. One of my favorite pairings with boots are socks or leg warmers, believe it or not. You can get socks that are already pre-attached to the actual boot or just top them off with your own. These type of boots work great with some tights or shorts or even a skirt so that you can see the leg and really put some emphasis on the sock detail. Let's not forget to incorporate some color into our boots. Wine tones are perfect for the fall and winter seasons. They blend on pretty much every skin tone. Wine tones pair beautifully with leather and biker jackets. They add a soft feminine element to those pieces. And we can't forget a fall favorite, the moto boot. Um, it's just the lace-up moto 
motorcycle boot. These ones are trimmed in shirling for an added bonus. These are another extremely versatile piece that can work with jeans, leather pants, dresses, skirts, you name it. I grabbed a chocolate tone instead of the expected black. It's simple but so classic. Make sure you're connected with me on all of the socials. Thumbs up this video if you like boots and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All of the boots in this video came from urbanog.com and I've got uh, all of the individual links down below in the description box as per usual. And I am taking your video requests once again. Uh, leave me comments and let me know what kind of videos that you are just dying. Maybe not dying, but what videos do you want me to do? I will see you in a couple of days with the next video. Be true, be you. I love you, smooches. Bye.